Using Adobe Creative Suite 6, I'm going to create a color profile first in Photoshop and then using Adobe Bridge to make it work uh, in all of the applications in Adobe Creative Suite 6. I'm using a Macintosh computer. Uh, the first thing, as you can see here, is I have Adobe Bridge open already, but I'm going to press Command Spacebar and type in Photoshop and open it up very quickly. Those are the shortcut keys to the search bar here. Going to Edit, Color Settings. Uh, you see the default North American General Purpose 2. However, my client wants a custom workspace. I'm going to change this to Adobe RGB 1998. I'll leave this as it is. Change the dot gain to 20%. It's actually defaulted to that. And let's see here. What else does the client wish to have? Color management policies can be left at the default. Use black point compensation. Uncheck use dither. Relative color metric is changed to perceptual. Uh, make sure that this is unchecked, unchecked, and leave blend text colors using gamma 1.45, leaving that checked. Okay, so here I have created a new color setting according to my client. So going to save, I'm going to save this CSF file and these are the settings for my client. And you can see the description down there at the bottom. Okay, so there we have created a new color profile or color settings. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that it works or is synchronized uh, in all of the Creative Suite applications. Notice here that this uh, neat little circle image is now out of whack or it looks like a piece of pizza is being taken out of the pie. Uh, that is a symbol showing that your Creative Suite applications are not synchronized for consistent colors. So we're going to synchronize those now. It is important to open up Photoshop first, or Illustrator first, or InDesign first, uh, one of the Creative Suite applications before going to Adobe Bridge, and then going to edit Creative Suite color settings. Because if you do not open those first, then you won't even be able to get into this option. Basically, it will say, okay, you need to open up one of these other applications. It gives you a warning. Um, make sure that you click on uh, Show All of the Color Settings, and then click on the one you wish to use. Click Apply. And if we go back into that under Edit Creative Suite Color Settings, you will notice that it now says Synchronized. Your Creative Suite applications are synchronized using the same color settings for consistent color management. So I'm going to take a screenshot just for proof. Pressing Shift Command 3. Using a PC, you can press the print screen key. And then opening up Adobe Photoshop, you can save that screenshot as a JPEG file and give it the correct file name. Let me know if you have any questions.